What's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a fantastic throwback Thursday. I don't even know what day it is. I decided to do a little podcast live from my mother's basement. Obviously, I'm not in my mother's basement. No, I'm actually on the Symphony of the Seas by Royal Caribbean. This is a cruise ship that just went over to the Mexican Riviera. That's right. We went to Costa Maya. We went to Roatan. We went to Cozumel. And tomorrow we go to the Coco Cay Island. Right now, I'm sitting in the lounge where about 300 people are going to step in to watch the comedy show with me and fellow comedian Steve White. We're having a lot of fun. The audiences are great. Nothing like performing for an international group. Sometimes the people don't even speak English, but they can still get a good laugh out of what's going on in the show because they actually feel the comedy. And when you're a Jersey boy born and raised, I will find something for you to laugh at if I have to follow you back to your cabin and help you along with the comedy. Right now, we're having a lot of fun. Things are going great. I'm trying to exercise, and I'm trying to eat better. It's very difficult to do when the food is free and it's abundant. There's a lot of food. I love food. Food is delicious. Every day, I go to the buffet, and I say to myself, I'll start my diet tomorrow. Well, I've been starting my diet tomorrow for the next, for the last five years. Anyway, let's see who's writing into the show right now. As you can see, this place is absolutely gorgeous and maybe someday i'll actually change the authenticity of my real mom's basement to something that looks just this badass all right so what's going on in the world hi dr tom hi brandon hi everybody who's writing into the show right now thank you so much vincent and betsy donatelli i think i met your niece or cousin on the internet today because I'm coming back to Scotch Plains, New Jersey on Saturday. That's right, this Saturday. I don't even know what day it is. Time is flying by. But I'm coming back on Saturday. Bunch of more shows in New York. Bunch more shows in New Jersey. Then back to Los Angeles. From last Los Angeles back to New Jersey. Then on to Boston, Chicago, Connecticut, Florida, Long Island, Staten Island. You name it. New Jersey's bad boy is bringing the comedy around the world and then in 2020 we're going to change the show we're going to change the name of the show to marino 2020 worldwide tour and you're going to have a lot of fun thank you so much for saying break a leg betsy i really appreciate that dr tom you're the best yeah i'm gonna have Vinny hit him with the bat thank you so much everybody i hope everything is going wonderful for you in your life wherever you are around the world. I believe that traveling is one of the most incredible educations that anybody could ask for because you get to see what's going on around the world in person instead of listening to it in the news or the news bashes about it or says how great it is, you know for sure and you get to meet people from around the world. So when you hear about it in the news, it might not be the truth. If you go experience it yourself, then you will know absolutely 100% for sure what's really going on because you meet those people. I mean, if you think about it on a ship like this, the people are from around the world and everybody speaks a different language, but they all get along. And you know why they get along? Because they all have one thing in common. They're on vacation and they just want to have fun. Everybody wants to get a tan. Everybody wants to have some great food. Everybody wants to get polluted and enjoy. And you can meet a lot of friends out here as well. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Mark D. Francesco, it's nice to see you. Adam DeLuca, I look forward to seeing you. That's right. Uh, Adam, I'm coming on uh, August 31. August 31, I'm going to Fort Lauderdale to watch, along with my co-stars, the TV project Silent Partners. Silent Partners is a TV pilot created by some real incredible writers, creators, and real wise guys. And uh, in Fort Lauderdale, the TV project takes place in the 80s, Miami. It's about the Gambino crime family and the sanctions out 
in Miami. I play an underboss, little Leo, and uh, I hope this is going to be a hit, badass, and uh, we'll see how it all goes. That's going to be on August 31. The premiere is invitation only. I decided, along with my fellow entertainers, to go down there, maybe do a little entertaining, and let everybody watch the show and see if we don't get picked up by a network and get our funny little asses a TV series, which would be like the new Sopranos, let's say, only taking place in Miami, not New Jersey or New York, Miami, and not in the present time, but what went down in the 80s, which is really, really cool. And it's based on a true story, real lifelike characters. So stay tuned, folks. This could be a badass thing. Uh, I think you're going to like it. I know everybody's going to like it, and so on and so forth. My comedy tour is, is going to go worldwide, and I want to thank everybody for watching, staying in tune, watching live from my mother's basement, the web series, Make America Italian Again. All you got to do is go to MikeMarino.net and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you go to MikeMarino.net, subscribe to the newsletter. You're always going to get some information on where I'm going, what I'm doing, and how you can get T-shirts like this that actually say Make America Italian Again on the back sponsored by Locatelli Tees. You can get all kinds of great sportswear and discounts and coupons to shows when I'm coming into your neighborhood. For some reason or other, they shut the music and I really don't know why. This is a badass club. I love the decor. Isn't this great? Check this out. Isn't that badass? Ahmed Ahmed, one of the greatest stand-up comedians I've ever met especially out in Los Angeles. Great guy, Ahmed Ahmed. Thank you for writing in and giving me the applause. I miss you, buddy. You're a great entertainer, and you and I need to share the stage again someday, wherever you are around the world. I know that we can make that happen. In fact, when I get back to Los Angeles on September 4, I would love to have you on my little podcast. We're doing really good. Got a lot of great followers, a lot of great audience members. I've been very, very lucky. I have some other celebrities who's been on the show. And we're having a lot of fun with that. Ain't that right, Captain Splash? That's right. I'm sorry. I took a moment to read some of the mail that's coming in right now. Not only, folks, can you watch me right here on Facebook Live, like so many other entertainers that are doing so many really, really great shows, but some of us are always on some other shows as well. So, live from my mother's basement, of course, is here live right now on my Facebook fan page, which you can also go to my Twitter account, Mike Marino Live, Instagram, Mike Marino Live, and all of that great, wonderful stuff, Mike Marino Live. And you can watch all the episodes of everything that I do on Mike Marino Live on YouTube. You can also listen to me on iTunes and your favorite podcast stations. And when you do go to your favorite podcast stations, your favorite podcast app, you can actually make money watching somebody's podcast. You can advertise on my show. I take care of a lot of different advertisers. And you could also win, you know, coupons to Starbucks, coupons to Dunkin' Donuts, gas cards, just by watching, writing into the show, and listening. Of course, you could always listen to it on iTunes. I'm also on ddvradio.com. I'm also on italianamericanradio.com. Great stations, great shows. A lot of different entertainers on all those shows. So whether you be listening to me or watching other entertainers, they're all fantastic, really, really wonderful, informative, great shows. I don't know if my show is that informative, but I hope you get a laugh out of it. And every once in a while, I do say things that should be informative to you, like how to raise your kids. Stop putting your kids in timeout. Hit them, hit them good, slap the shit out of them, and make sure they grow up and become gentlemen, old ladies, just like we did back in the day. Giovanna, of course I remember Giovanna. Oh, she's writing to Ahmed. I love when people write to other people on my show, but uh, I'm sure he remembers you. I remember you. We love you. We think you're great. Hi, Francesca Marino. It's nice to see you. Thank you so much for writing into the show. Craig Heaney, who's got a great radio show out in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in the Florida area. So many great, great entertainers worldwide. 
that have their own shows, that they deserve their own shows, and they are more informative than ever I could imagine to be. I just like being funny, cracking some jokes, and get people to follow me and buy my shirt. So subscribe, MikeMarino.net, and make sure you get your monthly news letter. You can do it. I'm happy to see in the news lately that you don't see this thing about throwing water on cops anymore. I hated that. Yeah, why would anybody anywhere just take a bucket of water and throw it on a police officer and think that's funny or it's a good thing? And these people are getting out of hand. I said this on another show. I'm going to say it again. If you have a driver's license in the state that you belong in, if you have a driver's license in the state that issued you that driver's license, read your contract. It actually says in the contract that you signed when you got your driver's license that if a cop pulls you over, you have to show him proof that you are the driver of that vehicle and proof that you are a licensed driver. So no matter what anybody says about how they know what the law is and that they know better than the police officer, get out your license, give it to the cop and prove that you are the driver of that vehicle and that you are the one that's registered on that driver's license. Because if you don't, and I was a police officer, I'd punch you right in the face. That's why I'm not a cop. That's why a lot of people are not cops, because they would beat the crap out of these little punks that think they know so much better than what's going on in the world. It's bullshit. All right, Craig Haney, what do you got to say? Mike Marino, the most honest man I've ever met in the entertainment industry. Thank you, Beth. Nice to see you, Captain Splash see you and how are you annie marge thanks for sticking up for our leos well yeah man i mean this is ridiculous stand up back the blue i always back the blue because what if all of a sudden there was a riot in your neighborhood there's a riot in your neighborhood people are looting stealing breaking into places all in the area who are you going to call you can't call the cops anymore because you offended them so badly that they're like you know what screw it i'm not coming which would be really great to show some people a lesson because you never know, it could be this punk who takes a bucket of water and throws it on a cop before you know it. He's the one dialing 911 saying, I need help, I need help. Well, you know what? Maybe they shouldn't help you because you were an asshole. That's the way I see it. Dombrowski, Dave. Hey, Dave, how you doing? It's nice to see you, Beth Ann. When are we going to write my book? I really need to write a book, The Life and Times of Mike Moreno. The world I travel, the people I see, the amount of people I've entertained. I average 2,500 faces a week. I entertain 2,500 people a week. Easy. I, I forgot more people than half the people get to meet. And I'm very, very lucky. I love it. I enjoy it. I mean, I have a different kind of a life. I didn't think I was going to be doing what I'm doing. But, you know, what the hell? It happened. I guess this is what the plan was that the higher power had for me. I guess God said, I'm going to be your agent and I'm going to make you travel the world. So I said, okay, let's go. And if I have the power to make people forget about their troubles for a little while, then thank you very much, Lord. I'm happy to do it. I got my own problems and I like to forget about my own problems and how do I, how do I forget about my own problems? I go watch the comedians and make me laugh. It make laughter, they say, is the best medicine. And quite honestly, it's true because it makes you happy for the moment. And when you're happy, you can't think about your problems. When you're laughing, you breathe. You can't remember your problems. You're having too much fun. So that's why we get to do what we do. And that's why I'm happy I got the ability to do what I do. And I'm happy that I can make you happy. So just keep on watching. We'll make everybody happy around the world. Somebody asked me the other day, you know, this whole thing about me running for president of the United States. Well, sometimes I think it would be a great idea if it really was. First of all, I grew up blue collar. I was never filthy rich. And that's what we need running the country. Somebody who knows what it's like to be poor. How could you reach out to millions and millions of people if you grew up with a silver spoon in your mouth? You don't know what it's like to be an average all-American person. You don't know what it's like to be poor. You don't know what it's like to be so excited that you made an extra 20 bucks at the end of the week. I do. So that's why I would make a great president. Plus, I know how to dress and I know how to talk to people and I don't tweet. Tweeting is getting our president in a lot of trouble. We don't need that shit. You dig? 
So just keep watching me, and I'll tell you what's going on in the world. I believe that if you need to believe in some kind of a higher power, great. Whatever your higher power is that you believe in, good for you. But you shouldn't hurt anybody because of that. You shouldn't believe in something so strongly that you go out and kill other people because they didn't believe the way you did. That's bullshit. I have some beliefs. If anybody wants to believe in what I believe in, great. But if you don't, go feel. We're still going to sit at the table and have some macaroni and meatballs. If you don't like meatballs, that's okay. Go eat down the block at somebody else's house. It's simple. I like all kinds of food. I will eat in anybody's house. As long as I'm invited, break out the bread, I'm ready to eat. That was the biggest thing my mother did when we were kids. If we had a problem, she solved it with food. You say, Mom, I can't find the prom date. I don't know what I'm going to do. She said, don't worry about it. Have some spaghetti and meatballs. You'll feel better. Perfect. Mom, uh, I didn't do so good in math class. She said, okay, don't worry about it. You'll do better next time. Have some macaroni and meatballs. Ma, I didn't get the job I was trying to get. That's okay. You'll get the next job. Have some macaroni and meatballs. Food always made you feel better. And you could do it. Wow, look at all these people writing into the show. JFK was on a boat. Mike Marino's on a boat. Yes, that's right. I'm on a boat. If you don't believe in God, that's your privilege. If you don't believe in guns, that's your privilege. But when shit goes down, you pray to God that someone with a gun gets you quick. Well, there you go. Kind of said what I was saying, only I said it in a different roundabout way, which is really, really great. Hey, Cindy Marino, it's so nice to see you. I hope you're watching the show. I just went to my second Montego Bay dance reunion. We had a lot of fun. Hundreds of people were there. The music from the 80s was rocking. I don't really have the dance moves I had back in the day, but I did my best. I went on a dance floor. I danced as best I could. We had a lot of fun. We did this. And then I did this, and it was great. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to do a quick 22-minute broadcast. I hope I made that happen while I'm live here in the comedy club getting ready to do a show on Royal Caribbean's Symphony of the Seas with my fellow comedian, Steve White. I wish he would come walking over right now, but I can't seem to find him. I'm going to go on stage in a little bit. So remember, Cindy, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for writing into the show. Cindy Marino, my sister from another family, which is absolutely fantastic. Listen, folks, stay in touch. Keep watching Mike Marino live from my mother's basement. I guarantee you, I'm always going to make you smile. I'm going to make you laugh. You can write to me. You can call me. Make sure you call me. You want to call me? Radio station 323-883-1607. Again, just call me at 323-883-1607. Seven. You want to sponsor a show? You want me to throw out a shout out to you? You want me to celebrate somebody's birthday for you, a wedding, anything you want, call into the show, instant message me. I will make that happen for you. Remember, make America a thing again. You don't know nothing. You didn't see nothing. You don't say nothing. And how do I end every single one of my broadcasts by always saying the same thing? Don't take no shit from nobody. All right. Have a great night. Hey folks, I hope you're enjoying watching my podcast live from my mother's basement. We're having a lot of fun and I'm going to have a lot of great guests on the show in the future. So if you like it, hit like. You could also leave a comment. You could subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch other funny videos. And you could also listen to my podcast on your favorite podcast app like Spotify and iTunes.